The Renault Koyos is a prime example of a good modern SUV. Affordable, reliable and versatile. At $49,000, it's one of the cheapest vehicles in its range, delivering power and speed as well as affordability. The 2.5-litre petrol engine has a top speed of 186 kilometers per hour and a moderately high fuel consumption of 9.3 litres per 100 kilometers. It reaches 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in approximately 9.9 .9 seconds thanks to its 170 horsepower. All right, so welcome to this week's uh, road review. Now, of course, every week we talk about one of the bigger machines in Uganda, tell you about their specifications and pretty much why you might need cars like those. Now, this week, uh, we go back to Renault and talk about the Renault Colios. This one is the 2015 edition. It's uh, one of the later versions in the country. It's also the last, it's the last of this very generation. So you'll be having a different one altogether. So I'll be talking about its specifications, but they see the beauty of this very car is that uh, they, there's a very big debate going on on whether it's uh, uh, an SUV, on whether it's a crossover. We suddenly are going to try and compare this to the 2014 edition and take you through what we think has changed. So I'm going to invite Jimmy from Renault again on the show and this time around I've got a seat for him. Come on Jimmy. Yes, Andrew. Hi. Hi, hi. How are you doing? Good, good. Welcome back to our set. It's always a pleasure. Please take a seat. Thank you, thank you. So there you go, this is uh, the Colios 2015 and uh, we have a free seat here which means if we are going to uh, the National Park, just you and I, mm. or you and a friend of yours, you would have your drinks here, sit here and you know have a nice day. That is true. Mm. You know this vehicle is actually a two in one. It has a personality of elegance, yeah. then also strength. Mm, mm, you mm. all find it in one, one car. All right, let's, let's, let's just go back. I mean, every time there's a, a new version, a new generation of a vehicle that comes out, uh, we, we like going back and seeing the improvements. Uh, for starters, how do you classify this car? Is, is it an SUV? Is, is it a crossover? Or should we just say, is it a sports ut utility vehicle, really? Again, back to what I've said, it yeah. is a two-in-one. You can call it a sports utility vehicle, it is. Mm. You can refer to it as a crossover, mm. it is. Mm. That is what makes this vehicle actually stand out. It's a two-in-one. Issues like power, issues like uh, fuel, issues like comfort, issues like legroom, uh, space. What has changed 2014, 2015? Now, when you write from the front, yeah. the 2014 edition had fog lights. Now, this one has improved to a daytime running light. Mm. Then also, there's more chrome that has been increased on this. The grille is more inviting. When you look at the front grille, it's telling you, come and drive And, and, and the grille is, by the way, go. headlight to headlight. Yes. Pretty long, yeah. Yes, pretty long, so nice. And, yeah. and then when you get inside the cabin, you'll find that actually this vehicle has got all innovations. Mm that has made Renault a benchmark for comfort, smart technology, and safety. Uh, and the fact that uh, the, the, the Colios uh, is regarded as uh, the most un-French car, un-French car, I mean, Renault is French, but uh, uh, these designs in South Korea for this car, there's engineering, I think, in Japan. Yes. Uh, does that give you a feel of, yes, it might be French, but it's getting a very big variety from other countries? You know, this is a vehicle that everyone actually owns is a is a world car yeah. it was designed in french it's produced in in korea and it's engineered in japan yeah. so you want to have that kind of car all right there you go i think we need to take you through the different parts of the car itself just to show you the di the difference between the 2014 edition and this one he's been talking about uh, the big grill at the front he's been talking about the space the big debate is still out there the jury is still out there whether it's an suv or a crossover come with me let's show you the inside the cabin is simple, elegant and practical, incorporating everything that the passengers and driver need. Now, there's been lots of debate as well around the sterling wheels and, and how they are, they are handled by different companies. Um, and I don't know how to talk about this because some guys want a less cluttered, less cluttered, uh, you know, steering wheel. Others want it with most of its functions here. Now, with the Renault Colios 2015, uh, you've got only the speed limiter and the cruise control on your steering wheel and then Bluetooth, you know, volume, radio, the controls are slightly lower. Uh, some folks will say it's hard to control from this side. Other guys just prefer it like that. Uh, if you look at its dashboard, nothing much has changed in terms of its dashboard. There's uh, just been uh, a couple of changes, new controls that have come in. Everything is just uh, uh, to make sure, you know, you, they make your driving experience as beautiful as they can. Uh, the, the, the big infotainment screen that, 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 you know, splashes right here is, is one we can talk about. It's, uh, in my view, a little bit far. 
So you really have to stretch to be uh, very close to it. But look at the positive thing. It's way bigger and easier to use compared to the 2014 edition. And let's talk about the, 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 the acceleration of this car, because uh, if I'm getting an SUV, uh, one, one, one of the points is to travel as far as I can with my family. Um, yeah, I want to get there on time, my friend. Now, with, the, with the, a talk, a talk of 226. Mm. Yeah, that's, let, me just, let me just hold it there. Let me, let me try and accelerate this machine here. Yes. Uh, and see. The engine sounds good. I'm telling it's you. It's picking up well. I'm telling you. And I almost bypassed an ML <laughs> that easily with this car. I'm sorry if I ever talked about the Colios with, with not uh, good acceleration. I, I must take it back. That was beautiful, didn't you see that? Yeah, it is, yeah. it is, it is. It has a lot of torque. The torque is the pulling power of the car. 226. It balances very well with the power of 126 yeah. kilowatts. That is the horsepower, the speed, the stability. All right, so uh, the car is going for 49,000 uh, US dollars. Yes. Um, and when, you, when you're spending that much money, you want a little bit of both. Yes. You want a little bit of technology in your car. Mm. You want a little bit of power in your car. Yes. Uh, and suddenly, this balances both of them. Renault has done a very good job. Yes, you know, this car, just as I've said before, it's actually a two-in-one. Mm. It gives the elegance, and then it gives you also the strength. Yeah. Reno has done a lot of work in the technology, the smart technology that this car has. Mm. It, it's very comfortable. Mm. Then it's also a very safe car. Safety is also not, not compromised. Yeah. So you find that in this car. The Renault Colios is definitely a car for the every man as it is comfortable, reliable and aesthetically pretty. The best feature of the Colios is its affordability. And at that price, it would be a crime not to consider this car a winner because it is the embodiment of a multifunctional SUV at a reasonable cost.